Yo, what's up, boys, girls? Welcome back to uh, True or False. I thought this was good. I thought it was good, and I forgot about it. I forgot about Vlad Maslov's masterpiece. But I'm gonna play it again. I actually played it like a little bit further, but I ended up deleting it. <laughs> so there's like 10, 15 questions missing. But I'll just pick up where I left off, and we'll see if the facts can blow my mind once again. And if it ain't too much of a fucking hassle, why don't you hit that like button if you enjoy, and hit the subscribe, because I'm right... Uh, I'm right on... Uh, 300. Like, two, one. One. Be the 300th. You can be the 300th. Anyways, let's just get right into it. First animal to ask an existential question was an African gray parrot. He asked what color he was. Maybe a human did that. I don't know, let me guess. Sweet. Parrot? Yeah, I don't know anything else that can speak. Parrots can't really speak, they just scream and it sounds like humans because humans sound ridiculous too. Honeybees that return to the hive drunk are punished. What? Drunk. What? How can a honeybee be drunk? Oh my god. Like, this is already fucking stupid. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is the furthest leaning man-made tower. That thing is, like, structurally held to stand that way. Like, I don't know if it was intentionally built sideways, like, at the beginning, but I think it, like, tipped. But now it'll never move. It'll never move now because of modern engineering uh furthest leaning i want to say true but i know it's not probably isn't nice nice jk rowling wanted to do a harry potter musical i don't think so i think uh she created her world she made it how she intended i guess you could say so i don't i don't think she would have made, made a musical out of it yeah. The original teddy bear was inspired by a cartoon of USA President Theodore Roosevelt. Teddy. Theodore. That seems so fucking dumb, but it's probably true. Boy! In China. China? I China all the time. In China... China. <laughs> Every time I say China, I gotta say it again. China. John Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath is translated as Angry Berries. Yeah, yes. Fuck. Fuck. The Great Wall of China is the only human made object visible from the moon. No. There's a 4,000 year old clay tablet, which is a customer's complaint. Huh? There is a 4,000 year old clay tablet, which is a customer's complaint wanting a refund. I don't understand this wording. How can a physical object be a complaint? I thought a complaint was a statement. How can a 4,000 year old clay tablet be a customer's complaint? Did they, they, <laughs> they walk in, hey, This, this clay tablet. And then they walk away. I want a refund. I don't understand this wording. Fuck off. Donald Duck is such an incredibly popular figure in Swedish culture that they had to outlaw voting for him. How can you vote for somebody who can't run? Donald Duck cannot run for something. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Somebody could fit, could like be Donald Duck, but you're not voting for Donald Duck. You're voting for somebody who says who runs under the moniker of Donald Duck. It is not Donald Duck running for president or whatever the fuck is over there. Prime Minister, I think. I had to outlaw voting for him. Fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. Mark Wahlberg, sir. 45 days in jail for attempted murder. Yes. What? Only 45 days. So what do you do? Try to run someone over with a car? I'm gonna have to Google that in a second. I'm gonna do it right now, actually. 
juvenile delinquents. Okay. He was young. All right. As the youngest of nine children. Holy shit. Wahlberg learned early that he had to fight for what he wanted. So when his parents divorced, he started running with a bad crowd. As a 13-year-old, he developed an addiction to cocaine. <laughs> what? what? He's addicted to cocaine when he's 13 years old. And at 14, he stopped attending school. Okay. It's pretty bad. His low point came at 16. When he was charged with attempted murder for beating a Vietnamese refugee with a metal hook. <laughs> Holy shit! Mark Wahlberg! <laughs> what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Leaving the victim blind! Oh my god! Mark Wahlberg! <laughs> you fucking savage! He was sentenced to two years in prison, but served just 45 days. During his stay behind bars, he realized that his life was spiraling out of control. You didn't realize that when you were addicted to cocaine when you were 13. Are you serious? Oh my god. A change was needed. He turned to his parish priest, who helped him get on the straight and narrow. Soon after, he joined his brother's boy band, New Kids on the Block, catapulting to fame in early adulthood. What a fucking savage! You learn some crazy shit from this game, I tell you what. Penguins are only known animals to fly with no one looking. <laughs> How would you know a penguin could be flying? As we speak, but no one's looking. But how would you ever know? You wouldn't ever know. <laughs> how would you know, honestly? Honestly.